All right, guys, Charter04 here. Just wanted to redo this video. The last one I did, it had the regular music copyright protected, so it muted some of it, and the music was turned up too loud. <coughs> and so I wanted to redo this. So I deleted that video. I wanted to do another one. Um, but I wanted to go through and show the settings I'm using, um, kind of explain some of the sliders and uh, kind of how they work. This was done through some of the stuff I've learned playing the game for a long time and uh, um, Sim, fo Sim Football Critic also talked to some of the devs that actually told him how they work. It wasn't Rex or Clint, but it was one of the other ones. I can't remember, but he did a video on it. Um, I can maybe put that link in the description, but, um, I wanted to first show you how you can get the sliders off of share if you wanted to, but you go to customize. So there you go. Customize share, manage files, download community files. over to player player sliders and uh, computer sliders and they're right there but you can either sort by download amount or whatever you want to do but um, the ones on Xbox one anyway are the ones I put up the uh, PlayStation 4 versions I'm not sure um, what the name they'll be under but you can find them there and you just download them. Then you would go to your customized settings and then hit settings again. Then you would go to the player or computer skill and then you'll see an option to load the file. And then that, that's how you do it. Um, for me, well, I'll go, I'll just explain these real quick, but basically what these do, um, is 50 is of course default that doesn't mean 50 percent it doesn't mean like there's we have no way of knowing um what percentage or really what's going on with that 50 it just it's ea's default that they've tuned to be their default for the computer and the user and i know in the past if you selected all Madden difficulty from like Madden 09 to Madden 25, I think it would lower all the user side to 25 and the computer side would stay at 50. So I don't know if behind the scenes something like that goes on. I do know that, of course, the user has an advantage either by the, the I mean, the uh, computer has an advantage on all Madden either by the user's um, secret sliders, I guess you could say, behind the scenes sliders, whatever it would be being lower or the CPU's being a little higher. I'm not sure how they work that since everything starts at 50. But, so look, think about it as it's just default. So that's why I don't have any problem changing it because my, deep, my version of correct tuning of what I would consider default realistically is not going to be the same as what EA does. And so that's all you're doing. Um, I know that some think that you shouldn't touch any sliders and this and that. I don't believe that. Um, I prefer to be closer to default just because I would like the game to already be out of the box pretty good. And that's a good sign if it is. Um, but that's basically how they work. And so if you lower it, some of the sliders, if you lower them, that's, it does one thing. Raising them does another. But if you lower the slider, for instance, quarterback accuracy to 25 all you're doing is tuning it in a way that you want to where now there's 25 points in the slider value as they do the dice roll they account for ratings so they're going to have all the different throw accuracy ratings so if you're throwing a, a a you know a pass under 15 yards or i can't remember exactly which it's broken down, and I've, I've read it before, in short, medium, deep, as far as yardage goes. I think deep is like anything over 45 yards, and maybe anything under 20 yards might be short, 
20 to 45 is medium. So it takes all these different things into account. The pressure you're getting by the offensive line. Um, if it's something pops up, says red, throw under pressure. If you're throwing off your back foot, if you're throwing, you know, there's just different things that it accounts for. And it'll take those things, the quarterback's ratings, the receiver's um, route running, DB's coverage, you know, just all these different things, and does a dice roll. Well, the accuracy slider, all it affects is the chances that with the ratings included, it lowers that chance that the quarterback's going to make an accurate throw. So that's why you're not going to have, if you go down to like five or six or seven or whatever, um, before I really understood that, I didn't understand why they were, the slider wasn't doing exactly what I wanted, but it's not going to make it to where every throw is going to start being off. It just decreases the chance of that quarterback being accurate and it still uses ratings still uses all the other stuff and so but it's a dice roll so you're just lowering the dice roll and um fumbles works a little different you raise it if you want less fumbles you lower it if you want more fumbles and so if you have trouble with fumbles and you you raise it and you would increase your chance of holding on the ball um reaction time is one that's some some get confused on all this is is the how fast or slow defenders react in pass coverage. So once there's a pass play called, then that's when it, those things are going to kick in. If it's a, uh, a route that's being run or whatever the case is, the obviously the coverage slider is what's going to affect their coverage, but then their reaction to, let's say, a screen pass or – um, how fast they react to once a guy catches the ball or their break on a pass in zone or something. But the coverage slider affects zone, man, all the coverages. It's just reaction times, how fast they react in pass coverage. So it's still going to use their ratings, but you can increase it or decrease it. And you're not going to see a huge difference either way, but um, it helps to with the computer side, what I have – on 25 for it i'm just trying to make it to where they're not quite as um psychic in their coverage but anyway that's basically how they work and tackling slider is how effective they are making the tackle um i just try to look at these things as what it what it's actually saying and not get too um too deep with some of them um i'm not saying that there aren't any other values that maybe or secretly being used that some people figured out but i just don't have the time to mess with it so I, I just go with it that way so i'm gonna go through my settings and look at these but that's pretty well a description of what they do and they don't affect as many of the other things as you might think from my perspective and what i've seen in, te in testing they just pretty much affect what it's saying they affect um but i of course all madden skill 15 minute quarters, 15 second runoff. Um, this will give you a realistic amount of plays. You're trying to get an average of 120 combined plays, um, snaps from scrimmage. That does not include punts or kick or kickoffs, uh, field goal attempts, those kind of things. When you look at statistically, when teams, any kind of stats you're looking at, when they say the amount of plays, it's only including offensive plays from scrimmage and so you should be trying to get about 120 to 130 some teams can average 54 um and the 120 130 that's combined for both teams so if a team controls the ball more they might have end up with 70 plays and the other team doesn't have as many so it just you want it to average out to about 120 um this will give you that if you watch games most teams get to up to the line of scrimmage because it takes longer to call a play obviously in real life than a madden so it'll be about 15 seconds if they call audibles if they do anything else it's going to lower it and a lot of times they'll snap it with 10 to 5 seconds left sometimes less so that's why i've got this set the way it is um normal speed i use auto flip call on because that's what i would do anyway um last year this just does it for me because i like my 
I like to line up everything on the strong side of the formation. Um, I mentioned it in the other video if anybody saw it, but I, I really wish the, the linebackers would flip because they're supposed to be a Sam and Will linebacker, and I like those to be specific positions. And when you flip the play, the Will linebacker becomes the strong side linebacker, and then the strong side one becomes the Will, and really those two guys should flip their positions, but Madden doesn't have that in yet, so hopefully they can get that maybe in Madden 18 where the where you actually have real Will and Sam positions because Sean Lee is a Will linebacker, and he would always, if they when they flip, he'll switch with the other guy. And um, so that's what I would like it to be, but it's not, but at least they still auto flip for you. Um, I've got these things turned on. Um, I'm just, I don't have as good a stick skills. So this kind of helps me. Um, injuries 50, 50, fatigue 50. I like them at the default values. Turn I turned up the threshold or here it's called speed parity scale, but it's the same thing. Um, just to tighten up the game a little bit. Um, just so that way speed is not quite as overpowering. Sometimes it can be a Madden. Um, penalties. Uh, these are going to be a little different than what I have. I think the only one that's different is holding because in the main menu settings you can only go by five. In CFM you can go by one. Every, every click is one value. So you could go 61, 62. On here you can only go by five. So I think I have holding at 57. But... I'm just trying to get an average of about six penalties a game. Although you could have, you could get away with averaging four if you want to be realistic, just because Madden doesn't include every penalty that's called. Like there are no illegal formations, which is called a lot, or illegal shifts, or um, there's no offsetting penalties. There's, you know, there's a lot of different penalties that you would have. Um, legal hands of the face. Um, holding by the defensive line happens sometimes with big defensive tackles trying to hold the offensive line. So there's other penalties that are going to happen to to raise that number to where you get that average of six. Some teams average more. They might average nine a game. Some teams might only average four in real life, but your average is about six. So if you want it to be a realistic amount of penalties, you're going to have some penalties get called in Madden more than real life to get six because they don't have all the penalties. But if you want each penalty to get caught a realistic amount of times, you're going to have a lower amount of total penalties. So just keep that in mind. And here's all the sliders I've got. Um, to me, these these two seem to work out fine. Pass blocking, wide receiver catching, the ratings are pretty much playing out as they should. Um, quarterback actually 25. You can lower this to 15 or 20 if you wanted. But I like to use the left stick for accuracy and leading <coughs> excuse me leading passes um and so when you go too low it makes it almost impossible to do that for me my, my own personal preference um and so you can put it whatever you want to but I, that gives me a good number and like these things all, all these slider sets i mean this is just a base set so if you play this and for you you're way too accurate. Well, then turn it down to 15. If you feel like you're not getting enough pressure on your quarterback, turn that down. If you feel like you're getting pressure too much, turn it up. You can just, every single slider, whatever you need to be different, you can adjust it yourself. This is just a base set. So uh, run blocking, I might go down with this some, possibly. Um, it might be the style of running I do. I do a lot more inside running than outside zone, mostly because I don't really care if – the outside zone is the flavor of the month. I run everything the way I think it should be. A real team would run it. And so I'm not going to do something just because it's more effective. I'm still going to run outside zone, tosses, all that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to just do it because, oh, this is the best run in Madden this year. So that's all I'm going to run. That's just not any fun. And so um, maybe that's why I don't have any problem with 60. Um, but that's where I've got it. If you need 55, 50. Go ahead and lower it. Fumbles. Some have trouble with fumbles. I don't have as much trouble. Um, I know quarterback sack fumbles are happening for some. You just got to get the ball out faster. 
you know, be thinking about it. Look, if the rush is coming, you got to get it out. Or you can use left trigger, right trigger on Xbox One, and then hold those down and hit X, and that'll make you give up on the play. So your quarterback will just fall down. So you can do that if you feel like you're about to get rushed, throw it out of bounds. Um, you know, it's whatever you got to do. But I'm not having a really a big issue with fumbles unless I get lazy and um, start holding on the ball too long. Um, reaction time and pass coverage, both of these helps um, the user. I'm, I, I want them to have good pass coverage, but you don't want it to get too high because then the computer won't throw it because they're not going to throw into as tight a windows as a user might because they're designed to be smarter than that, I guess. But then sometimes it creates kind of the dink and dunk. Every quarterback becomes Alex Smith. So I think this is a, is provide a good balance overall so far. And I'll, um, I'll change it as I see fit possibly. But that's where I've got it right now. Interceptions, 50. Tackling, I raised that a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry, a little bit because I know there's at times you would have average running backs kind of playing like Barry Sanders and stuff, and I want the really good ones to use all their moves and be really good, but I don't want just any back to just do whatever they want to do. So this helps a little bit with that, and uh, some of these have, have I've had help from Mr. Hurricane. Um, he has a great. A lot of you, I'm sure, know or watched is a great CFM, offline CFM that he does on YouTube. Look it up. Last year he did the Jaguars, and I think they went five or six seasons with that. And so he's been doing a lot of testing and um, helping me with some of this. Uh, punt power lowered that just so you don't outkick your coverage every time, mostly for the computer, but I have it for both because it takes – in CFM, you have to use the same value. It doesn't split it up like this. And got the passing. Um, if you use a defensive lineman on defense, you might have to raise this up. I use your linebackers. Um, so you might have an easier time getting the quarterback if you use the line. But 15 and 15, it helps. Um, the quarter, computer quarterbacks, it helps them not to have everybody being great at accuracy. You're still going to have your best quarterback still be good, um, but it helps if you have like a third or second string guy that maybe not as accurate. Hopefully he won't be as good, and the pressure that you can get on him helps with that too. 45 at catching just because they were catching everything. The computer seemed to never drop passes. Um, I'm at 40 run block now because since the tuner, or excuse me, the patch, um, it seems that guys are be, being better at setting the edge, force defenders are doing better. So it's making the user run defense better so the computer didn't need as much um, of a negative side. They didn't have to – their run blocking didn't need to be lowered as much. So I'm back up to 50. 50 on fumbles is fine. And then here's where I've got my reaction time lower, cover pass coverage higher because – I want the coverage still to be tight, but I don't want them to be quite so almost like they're running the route for your wide receiver. And then interception 40, this was something that uh, Mr. Hurricane suggested, just so the computer doesn't just catch every single thing that hits their hands because there's guys that don't have as good catching on the defensive side for the computer that was still catching every interception. And so this kind of tones that down. He might even be using 35 or testing 35, but I wanted to go to 40. And tackling still the same, and then 40 on the, the punt power. This is more, more for the computer because they tend to punt kind of unrealist, unrealistically long punts, and I just wanted to kind of cut back on that. Um, this is kind of whatever you want to do, but sometimes I like to have a lot of this stuff off just to kind of clean up the screen. Um and anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Um, when you go into, I've got auto subs default on main menu. Um, when you go into a franchise, um, I'll just take one of these that I've got. Um, you can do either, uh, well, that's a different one. Let's see. Maybe I'll just have to start one. 
guess I don't have any saved. But when you go into Welcome your to franchise, franchise mode, mode, the best way to play through a season with your set everything up how you like it. Um, Select the team you want to join. Don't worry. Start your season with recommended. I wouldn't have kept it all like this, starts but I just now. Want to hurry up and go through this. I usually change stuff up. But you'll go into your franchise mode. If you want to do, if you want to use all 32 teams, you have to do the off offline one, and it doesn't take that long to set that up. Um, I mean, it, it's for some. I, I guess you can consider it tedious. I wish there was a way to have a select all situation and then put everybody on the same settings. But it, you know, it is what it is. But you can't do an all 32 team control franchise with a an online fran an online CFM, of course. Um, I don't even know if they're still calling it CFM. I guess it's just franchise mode now. It was it was Start connected the regular season career. By selecting your season goal. Thanks for talking over me. It was a connected career mode used to, and it changed to connected franchise mode, and I guess maybe now it's just franchise. But So you'll go to your options, um, go to gameplay sliders, import custom sliders, and this will bring whatever you have in the main menu set into your franchise. Um You'll have to change, well, yeah, I guess it does change the penalties for you. Um, but like I said, if you want to do it exactly like I've got it, then you'll have to change a couple of these. And so it's really that simple. And then you can go in and change different league settings. A lot of times I'll, I'll uh, just make sure you've got all these league settings on. I usually turn that off even though I don't do a player. <clears throat> and it's just whatever you want on this um, and then you've got to make sure you change your quarter length within here in the franchise um, I like to turn this off I don't want the computer filling my roster for me um, I like to turn these off um, and then there are some good, if you look at Operation Sports, there's some good XP sliders. I'm just going to try default for now, but I might check some of these out to see what guys are getting. I just hadn't got to, I haven't got to the place of starting one yet. And then team settings. It's just whatever you want on that too. Um, everything's pretty much carried over from what I had. And on the main menu. So... Pretty well. That's that's pretty much it. And uh, I hope that maybe you got something out of this. And I tried to explain as good as I could and showed you what I what I'm doing. And that's pretty much what it is. And so thanks for watching. And uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys later.